Gary, many congratulations. You're into another Betfred World Match Play final, an extra legs victory over Michael Smith. But did you make harder work of it than what it should have been? I think I did. You watched it, did I? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did. There was bits, and then, like I say, I'm just. I end up fighting myself. You know, it's 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 not what the other boys doing. I'm fighting myself. I know it should be a 140 instead of 60. It should be a 180 instead of 140. And it's it's just like I get these stupid little moments that are. As it's driving me nuts, to be honest, but we get there at the end. Coming into the tournament, you kept telling us, no, I can't win this, no, I can't win this, no, 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 no you're the game from winning it. Is the belief now there that you can win the Red Fred World Match Play? I'll tell you Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, look, I'm, I'm just, all I want to get is get my game back to it. it should be. I mean, there's a lot of snatching in my game now, dropping again an inch below the treble. You know, there's there's bits when I, I don't know the difference, there's, there's throws that I walk up there. Everything's above the treble and I can work down, and there's other throws that's underneath. Don't know why that first start's dropping. Going into it, Michael Smith had beaten you in three consecutive semi finals. Was that one I'm not making it for? Because we know the rivalry you two have. Oh, aye, yeah, aye. Yeah. I mean, it's great. To, I mean, I think I've got a fantastic record against Rob Cross, but one day it'll come to an end. You know, it's always going to be that. Yeah, I mean, I, th I, th I thought when I got in front of Michael, I could see him starting to. I think he was thinking about a bit now, you know, because Michael knows I can hit the 180s and the 140s just like him, you know, and it's uh, it's not quite as good as him now, but uh, at the start of the match, uh, I've done alright with the high scoring. You won the UK Open with no fans, you're doing the business again here, does that make you the overall favourite now? Nah, you know, hear the crowd, listen to them, they went mad, they went absolutely mad. Uh, but nah, it's... UK Open was different, it was freezing cold, and I love the cold, I'm sweating like the devil up there and uh, I do like the cold weather but nah but listen we'll just see what goes you know I'll fight to the end hopefully and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens tomorrow last one for me what would it mean to you to win the second biggest major outside the world again considering where you come from the back injury that's all the time off you yeah, yeah. is this almost better than winning it the first time round? because that 2018 season was you were just in unbelievable form I was playing well you know that's that's the difference I was playing well back then now I'm I'm kind of happy go lucky you know I know I'm not playing well so it's like what you see is what you get but uh, oh it'd be great to lift it again you know that the year that I won it I'd be playing really well you know I even knew I was going to hit the nine data Ian White will tell you the story I've done a, a few interviews about it but uh, they were going well you know so uh, now it's a, it's a wee bit different but like you say the six months off back playing darts and then for the four or five months off so it's not been great preparation is it? Gary, pleasure as always mate. Thank you Phil. Gary, you say you're not delighted with how you played up there but you're averaging well into the high 90s, 98, 99. Yeah, but Do you think you're in a better place yeah, than maybe, maybe you think you're? High 90s but a lot of rubbish in between and I mean a lot of rubbish you know it's that's what's bugging me. I, I don't want per perfection you know I know you're going to make mistakes and miss this and that but it's the way my darts are going through the other now. That's that's what's getting me. You know, it's I know how I should throw a dart and how a dart should land in a dartboard. It's not happening, and that that's what's driving me nuts now. So I don't know if it's too hot or if what. Maybe I've done the dishes too many times for the last five six months. Maybe that's a problem. You know, but uh, nah, we'll we'll get there. We'll we'll sort it out somewhere along the line. At the start of the week, did you expect that you'd have spent eight days in Milton Keynes and no, be, be in the I was expecting to be back morning. home Sunday morning. <laughs> you know, I was uh, had a little plan go get the kids on the Sunday morning when I got back, but. Uh, I've had to wait an extra seven days now, so yeah, I'll, I'll see them on Monday when I get back now. How would it compare to two years ago? Obviously, it's a completely different environment. Well, well, yeah, well, it was when I, two years ago playing well, knowing that I was playing well. To if I was to win this, playing nowhere near how I should be playing, I don't know. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I don't, I don't know how to say it. I, I don't know. It'd be great winning that, but I don't know.